It's all about fitness, fun, community, and oh yeah, <laughs> costumes. The Fountain Valley Fit Body Boot Camp 5K Fun Run benefits local charities. We have over 700 people participated, and one of the themes we have uh, for this event is uh, superhero. So people can dress up with their costume. We have uh, Spider Man, Superman, uh, uh, Wonder Woman was here. Uh, this is a, a fun thing, but more importantly, the community got together and raised funds for their own charity, the charity that they are supporting. Uh, so this is uh, a wonderful morning. Uh, you get some exercise, you do some walking, some running. More importantly, you give back to the community. Giving back to the community is something the Fountain Valley Community Foundation members do at this event and others throughout the year. We are the fun. Uh, besides the concerts in the park, the movies in the park, we put on Summerfest, we put on today's 5K event, which raises thousands of dollars for local schools and nonprofits, uh, as well as other charities. We do the Easter egg hunt, just in a host of other really fun things, including the poker tournament, which gives back a lot as well. As far as today, fun is the name of the game and it's in the title of the event. Woo! Helping out is also in the hearts of the runners and walkers taking part. Woo! Go, let's walk! I'd like to thank the city and their sponsors for a great event, allowing us to give back to local communities, local agencies that actually support programs such as AYSO and local churches. It's, it's awesome that we can give back to the community. It's a great event to participate, come together as one and, and have a lot of fun. Moses Castillo, a soccer coach and part of the Fountain Valley AYSO soccer program, brought his team and they didn't disappoint. Diego Alonso was one of our players that uh, participated in this event. He ran this in 21 minutes and, and he, I'm not surprised because he's one of top, my top defenders. He doesn't let anybody score on him. He's so fast. So I'm really excited for, to him to come out here and be part of this event. It was basically like the longest 21 minutes of my life. I felt like really proud of myself and happy that I finally finished it and that like there are some people from my school cheering me on. Job well done Diego and for the hundreds of others including eight-year-old Jordan who shares his technique. Tell me about your running strategy. What did you do to make it easier on you? Take bigger steps and pump my arms. Cool. What else did you do? Uh, I made sure I saved my energy and I started walking when I needed to. Awesome, dude, give me a high five. And when it comes to the final stretch, cheerleaders from Fulton Middle School are at the finish line. Let's go, runners, let's go! I'm really proud of this team. They're, they're here, they're encouraging others, and it makes me feel awesome that they're out here. Encouragement of others is also important. Track runner Michael understands this and does his best to support his teammates, rallying them on. Pretty much I wanted to do this because like they're doing like all these fundraisers and stuff and I wanted to help out the community. Um, I also wanted to like do it for my friends and help them out also and that's like a big reason right there. It was great. When you just hear your friends cheering for you, you just feel so happy inside. Like that's how you know they're really good friends. Mario Navarro's daughters play volleyball and he enjoys coming back year after year to reconnect. It's just a great community event. It's great to see friends that we all have th other things in common throughout our lives. And then we, you know, Fountain Valley brings us together and we uh, meet, have a good time, and try and stay in shape. Kathy Crabb also came with her daughter and her daughter's friends. They wanted to walk and I, I like to exercise on the weekend, so I thought, well, if I'm going to drive you over here, I'm going to run. Also, all the money that we paid for all the, the tickets went to Talbert Middle School. After the finish line, Booths providing information on services, local businesses, and even one looking for qualified individuals to join the force were on hand. We're looking to hire uh, police officers and police dispatchers uh, within our ranks. And it's a great opportunity for us to be out here to engage the public, uh, to talk about uh, issues in law enforcement that might concern them, and also to the show them that we're here to support them as much as they are here to support us too as well. And with more than 700 participant entries and nearly 70 volunteers helping out, it takes dedicated individuals to put on this event year after year. 
When I talk about Fountain Valley Community Foundation, the word community is what really stands out to me. Um, that's why I wanted to be a part of it. That's why I enjoy giving back. Um, and it's something that I'm going to continue to do for years. It's just the people that make us a great organization.